Hello everyone and welcome and welcome to Comets 2025 Gaming. Today I will be showing you how to download KSP KSRSS. So if you don't know what KSRSS is for Kerbal Space Program, it's essentially a mod uh dedicated to the mod real solar system which puts our solar system into KSP and basically what it does is it scales real solar system down by four times and is 2.5 times bigger than the stock system and it makes RSS a lot easier. So today guys I will be showing you how to download it because if some of you um, think regular RSS is way too hard and you guys want a stock size RSS well this is the place for you. By the way KS RSS means Kerbin Size RSS. Anyway, let's begin. So, in a browser that you have, uh, type in KSP KSRSS. Then you go to this KSP forums page, uh, beta KSRSS, 2.5 times size RSS. Or 4 times the size of RSS. So, it's about 2.5 times the size of the stock system, like I just said before. So, um, this is the website. So, the this is what it looks like. Uh, the palm trees are from Parallax Scatterer. So, well, Parallax, yeah. And this is, these, this is just some of the pictures that see Eagle Lander. Pretty cool stuff. But you might be wondering, where's the download button? Like, where is it? Well, it appears out that there isn't a download uh, section on this page. But, however, if you go down here, you will see license and legal stuff. Source code, and then this link. Well, this is actually the way you download it. So, click this link. It's completely safe. It goes to GitLab, kind of like GitHub, and you will see Megapack KSRSS. Well, if you click on Megapack, you will see these different options. Switch that to KSRSS Reborn, and this is what you want for, uh, well, KSRSS. So, KSRSS is compatible with Scatterer. Uh, EVE, Environmental Visual Enhancements, uh, Volumetric Clouds, Parallax, and yeah. So, basically what you want to do is you want to press this code button right here, and you want to scroll down to zip. So, if you click this, you will download KSRSS, and you will uh, be ready to go. And then also, you can download uh, custom asteroids for Jupiter Trojans and Kuiper Belt asteroids, but I don't, I don't really want to download that because I actually did add some asteroids from RSS Origin and RSS Expansion into my game. But coming with RSS, ex R KS RSS, there will be like comets like Haley, One P Haley, Haley's Comet. And, like, other asteroids like Eros and Ryugu. I think that's how you pronounce it, but I don't know. So, yeah, that is basically how you download KSRSS. But we're not finished yet. So, in, um, uh, when you download KSRSS, you want to put it in the game data folder. This is where all your mods go. And... Well, this, all this stuff will come in the folder, but you want to take this uh, thing out of your folder when you download it and put it into game data, as you can see, KSRSS. And there will be all the configs that you need to uh, have KSRSS. And one thing that I learned is if you do have Parallax, which I don't have Parallax... 
Actually, I can download that right now. So if you if you have parallax, um, well, I'll show you in a second. Come on. So like, if you have parallax, you actually have to like change the folder and stuff. So if you're using CCAN, do not get stock planet textures or stock scatter textures because if you get that then there will be a fatal error in the process of loading ksrss so you can download um i'm gonna do parallax continued okay guys just a quick note when you are actually downloading parallax for um ksrss Make sure that you download this one right here, not Parallax Continued, because Parallax Continued is only for um, stock KSP, according to, my, according to my knowledge. So, what you want to do is, basically, find Parallax, and then in Parallax Stock Textures, delete configs. Otherwise, a fatal error will happen when you load up ksp so that is basically it and now let's download ksp i mean load ksp not download cool so yeah this is um the Kennedy Space Center, because I'm in Florida right now, um, on Earth, right here. And I also think that, uh, the Cape Canaveral mod, um, it's also compatible with this. So, yeah, pretty cool. And I don't think there's a lot of parallax textures, but there are parallax textures. So anyway, I'm just gonna build a small craft to get to orbit, and then lands back on earth so as usual I have to add the parachutes and then I can just build a small stage so who cares and to get to orbit in KSRSS you need about 3,800 meters a second of Delta V. And to get to places like Pluto with like at least three Kerbals on board, you might need near future technologies. But to get to places like Sedna, you probably need far future technologies to get there in a short amount of time. But yeah, we are launching. Just gonna get into a uh, parking orbit. Turn on physics time warp. So, yeah, pretty cool. And this, I really recommend using the Wolfhound engine for, like, interplanetary transfers. Because, man, those, um, those engines can have a lot of Delta V. Like, they can have, like, about maybe 8,000 meters a second if you're using a 2 point, uh, I think it's, yeah, it's a 3.5 meter engine. If you're using something like that, then, yeah. But anyway, we are just raising our apoapsis height. And unfortunately, we aren't in an orbit, but that's fine. So, I want to land in Africa, because that has very good, um... That is very- that probably is very good scatterer. Let's 
So we're gonna move up our thing. And we are gonna lower our orbit. But yeah, I didn't fully get to orbit, but I didn't really want to. But yeah, to get to orbit, you need about 3,000 meters a second. Like, so this is the coast of Africa, and we will be landing to just showcase the parallax scatterers. I don't know why it doesn't show the parallax um, scatters on um, at the space center in the main game, yeah. But it's still cool, so we are re-entering the atmosphere at 3,300 meters a second. And guys, the other day, I actually, uh, launched a probe called the Galilean 4 to, like, Jupiter, and it had, like, a small probe on it that re-entered Jupiter's atmosphere at, like, 50, no, it was, it was 35 kilometers a second. Firefly, Firefly, which, um, revamps the re-entry plumes, such a great, such a great mod, you guys should get it, because... If you're going really fast and you're re-entering, if you're going really fast and re-entering a planet's atmosphere, the bluer and maybe even purpler your plume can get. So like when my small uh, Galilean-like probe was re-entering the atmosphere, um, the re-entry plumes were the re-entry plumes were purple. Which is honestly pretty cool. But yeah guys, overall, that is it on how to download KSRSS. But yeah, see, like, you can't, you can't, you cannot see the, uh, parallax scatterers. I don't know why, but other than that, it's awesome. Probably I'll do a moon mission soon. Or a Mars mission, I don't know soon just to show you guys actually i'm planning on doing like a saturn 6 mission which is exploring the six moons of saturn so i don't know we'll see about like landing on one of the moons but guys i really hope you enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe and guys i will see you next time and goodbye